There is new fallout tonight over Arizona's controversial new immigration law. Police chiefs from around the country told the U.S. Attorney General today that requiring police officers to enforce immigration laws diverts them from their core job, which is fighting crime. Throughout this good day and all across the NBC News Division, we've been reporting today on the immigration debate in a series of reports we're calling A Nation Divided. In our new NBC News MSNBC Telemundo national poll on this issue, we found 61 percent of people support the Arizona law, 36 percent oppose it. When we compared whites to Hispanics in this country, look at the numbers, 70 percent versus 31 percent. While Arizona is the current ground zero for the debate on immigration, several other states are considering laws similar to the one in Arizona. Utah, for example, traditionally one of the least diverse states in the union, Utah now has a growing Hispanic population. NBC's Lee Cowan reports tonight from Salt Lake City. Utah. One of the reddest of the red states, as conservative as it is religious. But there's a different sound in the air these days. Fear. Just listen to Hispanic talk radio. There are people literally afraid to leave their houses. Once considered immigrant friendly, Utah is now hinting that it may pull the welcome mat, just like its neighbor, Arizona. I want people that are here illegally out of the state of Utah. And Utah isn't alone. At least a dozen other states are now talking about cracking down on illegal immigrants. And while they all don't necessarily agree with Arizona's approach, they all agree that something has to be done. Community centers like this are flooded with immigrants wanting to learn English. You have to learn the language. You have to learn to communicate. You have to learn to be involved in the community or you're not part of it. But she admits half the students are here illegally. Complicating matters, Utah is predominantly Mormon, putting many politicians in a tough spot. They want to be loving and compassionate people, but they also believe in the rule of law. And they know that if you start wink, wink, nod, nod, ignore this law, it's a slippery slope. Russell Moore says his neighborhood has changed, and so is his business. He's a contractor, but he says he can't compete anymore with companies hiring illegal immigrants on the cheap. I'm tired of the rhetoric, I'm tired of the finger pointing, and I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm tired of government not figuring it out. So is Lori Robison. Her husband and two stepchildren are undocumented. She lives in fear every day. Her lawyer's advice? Be patient. Let's just wait and see what Obama can do, or let's just wait and see what the immigration reform is going to bring. What does wait and see mean? You know, wait and see means wait and worry. And wonder if Utah will come up with its own answer or follow Arizona's lead. Lee Cowan, NBC News, Salt Lake City. And Jose Diaz Ballard is with us tonight. He has the same job I have, only for our sister network, Telemundo. He's at a separate studio here in our building at 30 Rockefeller Plaza tonight, anchoring Telemundo's evening newscast. Jose, as you know, it is entirely different to have this debate out east in New York and Washington and to actually go to Arizona, talk to the folks there about the law, something you've done repeatedly. What have you found? Uh, Brian, good afternoon. Arizona is where the rubber meets the road for a lot of people and a ton of people I spoke with over there this week that have been there for 14 and 15 years, many of them with U.S. born children, are selling everything they have to get out of the state in fear of what's going to happen in July when that law is scheduled to take effect. On the other hand, a lot of people that have been seeing the border being such a porous place are looking forward to some stability and somehow, some way, the the permanent border be permanent, that there is some way to stop just people coming in every day without any papers and any way to find out who they are. And how do you square these two poll results? Most people, 65 percent, uh, think there should be a path to citizenship for people already here. And yet most people, 71 percent, also believe there should be a fence the length of the border. Because I think people want to first see the laws of this country respected and they want to know who's coming in and who's already here. So if you want to know who's here for security reasons, you have to give them a way to become part of this society. A pathway to citizenship is certainly one way, but the other side says, listen, we have to make sure that our borders stop being as porous as they are. I think there could be some common ground in the future. Right now, 
they are two different countries in many ways. Jose Diaz Ballard of Telemundo. Jose, thanks for being part of our coverage. I'll let you go back to yours <laughs> now. A few stories above us here at 30 thanks. Rock.